everybody. Uh, welcome back to another episode of 15 Days Till Sunshine. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Tony. I'm Hillisey. And we are Tony Travels. Um, we're on day four mm -hmm. of our uh, countdown to our uh, eight-day Caribbean, Eastern Caribbean cruise on the Carnival Sunshine. And we're just going through and talking about some different topics of interest and um, uh, you know, giving some tips and some things that we've learned, and uh, just talking about some topics that um, you know get talked about, but just kind of sharing our viewpoint so that um, you know, if, if there's anything that you know you, you may not find in other videos or uh, something like that, maybe we've maybe we've got it for you, a different way of thinking, a different way of looking about it. So um, today we're going to talk about uh, excursions. A uh, big thing whenever you mm -hmm. go on a cruise is going to be the excursion, what you do whenever you get to the port. Now, <laughs> you don't have to do an excursion. There are a lot of ports where you know you can have a great time without mm -hmm. without booking an excursion at all. Um, there are a handful of ports that have. Uh, you know, beaches and stuff right off, right off the end of the, right off the, well, not off the end of the pier. That's um, would be into the water, but at the <laughs> beginning of the pier, um, whenever you walk down, you can go right to the beach mm -hmm. and um, just have a good time. There's uh, ports that uh, you know have tons of shopping and stuff like that, or yeah. in the little port area. So um, you know, you don't have to book an excursion, but it does add a certain you know, a little extra memorable thing to your cruise. It, the right excursion can. So we're going to talk about some a couple of things to think about whenever you're booking your excursion. And um, first of all, is a couple of ways to book an excursion. So you really have two options, um, and there's some variations to those. The first option is to uh, to get online and look up some tour operators and uh, book your own excursion. So so get online, say you know. Uh, Grand Turk excursions and search that up and um, you know find the the companies themselves and you know look at their reviews and kind of judge for yourself and and book an excursion that way. Um, the other option is to book directly with the cruise line mm -hmm. and that option is going to be a little bit safer just because when you book through the cruise line they have some certain guarantees. They guarantee that you know they're not going to leave you if your tour right. runs late. They do the carnival, especially does the hundred hundred and ten percent guarantee. So if you find it somewhere cheaper, they still encourage you to book through them, and they'll give you the price difference. Yeah, and and they you know they've for the most part they've vetted these companies and they right. they have a relationship with them, and the companies that run these tours they want to be in the good graces of the the cruise lines because then that means that you know more advertisement and more customers to them you know they they want to provide you with good service that way you know you don't go back complaining to the cruise line and then you know they wind up dropping them all together as a service provider so um, you know those are two different ways what are your opinion on the two different ways well to book the cruise or the excursion I think regardless um, you either way you need to pay attention to the reviews more so than the actual like advertisement of the excursion itself. I think that you get a lot more value from people that have been there and done that. Um, if they've had negative experiences, if they've enjoyed it, if they said it was a waste of money or worth their time. Um, that's what I always look for if we ever did anything outside of the cruise line or part of Carnival. You know, the reviews are kind of the tell, I think. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, you'd be a little bit safer booking a um, booking an excursion on your own if you were going through a travel agent maybe mm -hmm. because in that travel agent they may have you know booked other people on that excursion before so they you know have experience with that personally you can get their personal review from it but you're right the reviews we've actually kind of we shot away from a couple of excursions because you know the description yeah. says all this you know lunch included this and that and it's like well you know, lunch was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that was mm -hmm. a sack lunch that they gave you and a four ounce cup of punch. watered down yeah. punch. Like, you know, that's like, oh, you get, it's all inclusive with lunch and a free drink. And it's like, you know, so, you know, the reviews are, mm -hmm. are very valuable sometimes. So We did read on one of the, the ones that we were looking at before where it said all inclusive. That reminded me. Um. And the reviews say, yeah, they say all-inclusive, but what they do is give you one drink voucher when you get off of the bus. 
and then you have to pay for the rest after that. So little things like that that they can get away with saying because it is true. You know, it's you inclusive. You do get a free drink, but kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, just it, it's kind of a another recurring theme is to do your research ahead of time. Um, you know, uh, you can book the excursion in advance either through the cruise line um, or through the third party. Um, or you can book on the ship mm-hmm. with with the cruise line at the sc- shore excursion desk. Or whenever you get on the ship, they'll have a little show um, where they'll talk about the different excursions. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of highlight some of them. And, um, you know, so you may be able to learn something there. But, you know, like I said, once you're on the ship, unless you have... Which the Wi-Fi isn't normally so great. Um, so... You know, unless you're still on there online doing some research to compare and contrast against what they're telling you, once you're on the ship, you're just taking their word for it. Mm-hmm. You know, and then, you know, once you get to the port, sometimes those third parties are there at the port. Like, hey, come on, let's go on a tour of the beach. And then you have no way to research. You're just, you're really going out on a limb and, hey, hey, you do your thing there. Mm-hmm. Um, but... I wouldn't be taking that chance. No. Um, so those are the different ways to book the excursions. Pros and cons would be, um, you know, through the cruise line, like I say, you have that relationship that they have with them. You have the guarantee that they're not going to leave you. You have kind of some reassurance that, you know, it's a reputable company. So on the third party uh, excursion booking, you know, you have pros and cons there as well. Um, the pros would be you may be able to save a little money. It may be a little cheaper than the um, what the cruise line itself is charging. Because you know if it's fifty dollars for an excursion, that's what the tour company charges. They may sell it for sixty five. You know, attack on a little bit, or you know, so um, you may be able to save a little money. But you know, might also be a little sketchy. So um, that's something just to think about. What's what you got? Also, if you're going to book it through the cruise line, I know that with Carnival especially, you can, you shouldn't wait till the last minute because a lot of them will fill up mm-hmm. and it'll say that there are no more spots available and then you've lost out on the excursion that you might really wanted to go on. So Yeah, a lot of the good ones, the popular ones, mm-hmm. yeah, they'll fill up. One other thing would be with doing your own thing in the port, um, there are kind of a hot topic right now is whether or not to... Um, rent a car or rent a moped or something like that mm-hmm. in the in the port and go do your own tour yeah that sounds that sounds great it sounds fun you know hey i can do my own thing i can explore this and that but just kind of be careful because you know you don't you know when you're in a different country there may be a little bit different driving laws people don't really drive the same way like they're mm-hmm. a lot more aggressive in some of these caribbean countries the driving is a lot more aggressive um you know you have some more like health risks as far as if you get in an accident are you covered by insurance so different things like that uh, you're just taking a quite a bit more risk doing that and I mean yeah it sounds fun to hey let me, we're gonna rent a motorcycle or rent a moped and drive around the island that sounds fun but it's kind of scary to think that you know something were to happen so just kind of think of those things beforehand because that's out there too you know mm-hmm. just kind of go off on your own and and explore this island on your own time and so so those are some different options for excursions. Um, our number one tip would be to start in advance and do your research. Um, know yourself, know what you're comfortable with, do your research, know what's on each of the the uh, ports that you're going to, know what different things there are. Like, hey, this this port doesn't even have beaches, so I'm not going to plan on doing a beach excursion. Or, mm-hmm. you know, so d- just start start early. It doesn't hurt, and it gets you excited. You know, to look at, watch people's videos of their of them doing those excursions and things like that. So, there only good things can come out of starting to research early. Mm-hmm. So, and read the reviews. Read that's, the reviews. Yeah, that's my big takeaways. Always read the reviews. Yeah. So, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, uh, please give us a little like down there. That way, we know that hey, this is this video is good for somebody. Um, also, in the comments, we're still looking for questions for our um, live Q and A. We want to get some more questions for that. Um, and um, if you have any other topics, like hey, I've been thinking about this. You know, what do you guys think? So. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. That way, we know um, that hey. Somebody's watching, somebody's getting something out of this, and, uh, mm-hmm. and you know, we can see that, you know, we're doing something good for somebody and that it's, you know, paying off a little bit by having more people join our little club, mm-hmm. so. 
And we haven't picked excursions for St. Martin or, uh, what was the other one? San Juan? So if you guys have been on any excursions that you would recommend, let me know. Because, I mean, we're, we're open to doing anything. We want to try new stuff, so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we haven't locked down anything in San Juan or St. Martin yet, so we'd be grateful for some suggestions on that. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.